Okay, on the back of a digital Chronobel 2 or 3, you have the service panel, which is held in by two screws. And inside, get this to focus, inside you'll see the three LEDs, the battery, and the reset button. The reset button, all it is, is for a warm boot. Now, you have next to the first LED, you have TP1, TP2, TP4. TP3 was not used, that was for an earlier model and it was a negative voltage that was gotten rid of. TP1 is where you measure your 5 volts. Over on the early model you'll have two of these test points at about 11 o'clock where the battery's at. The outer one is your ground reference. So you're going to have your ground reference to TP1 for measuring your voltage. And you should be approximately 5.2 to 5.24 volts DC. Uh, TP2 and TP4, those are software controlled, so they'll, they should only be on when there's software on, when software is running. You're going to measure approximately 10 volts nominal, could be 8 volts depending on the transformer. This is 24 volts nominal, so it usually runs around 23.83 or 23.9. So, and those are those two voltages are unregulated DC.